Recent George Washington High School graduate Ray Barcenas is an 18-year-old who goes by the name Rayminder and has been singing and rapping since he was six years old. I started really young. It was like my, my getaway. I got picked on a lot in school. I wasn't, you know, the good, best looking. So it was like pretty much the only thing I had. Like it was the only thing I was good at. Musical influences like Tupac, Eminem, T.I., and Chris Brown help shape his lyrical and rapping style. He says personal experiences are what serve as the inspiration behind his songs. It's like a way to, to like let out stuff that, that I wouldn't want to talk to anybody with, but to get it out so people can hear it. So I, I turn it into lyrics and music instead of like, you know, venting out to people. This is actually my way of venting to music. In his latest single, Ray talks about the relationship between his father. Just this August 5th was his one year anniversary, so he passed away like the year before. And, you know, he, he wasn't ever around. He would come around every once in a blue moon. And so, yeah, so, so, yeah, that was like real deep stuff. It's really deep stuff that many could relate to. People actually uh, go on Facebook and YouTube, and if you can go there, they have a lot of comments. I, I, they, they literally tell me I can relate to it, you're very inspirational and they, some people call me their role model, like it's, it's really a, like a good feeling you know, to know that I'm being looked up to and I'm only 18. What makes Ray a bit different from the current local musicians is the fact that he has music videos for his singles. The videos, which can be found on YouTube, have thousands of hits. He attributes much of the success to James Davis, the mastermind behind the videos. And speaking of success, well, just like Eminem has Dr. Dre, Ray has Mike Villa Gomez. Mike joins Ray in studio producing and laying tracks down. Well, Ray's always been wanting to be like a, a rapper, and so, you know, I just like tried different programs just to see, you know, what I could do for him. And then from there on, I just got the hang of it and pretty much self-taught myself. Um, when hearing their songs on the radio, I'm sure many of you, just like me, were surprised about their age. We're still young and we're progressing really fast. And our stuff sounds, you know, pretty, like, quality and everything. It's pretty up there. So good, in fact, that Mike is collaborating with another local musician, Isaiah Castro, who is making his mark in the States as an up-and-coming musician. Locally, Ray says he does respect the efforts of other musicians who are just as passionate about music as, as he is. I really like um, like that Walter McGonagall guy, like I don't know him personally, but he's really like pushing his music out there, so I, I really like, I like that. There's this other guy, his name is John Sermento, he goes by Metaphors. Like he like dissed me a little bit, but I mean, his music though is good though. So even with the hate and stuff like that, I still respect the music. So it, it, he's one of like the, the artists out there that I think should be more recognized. The dynamic duo continue to work hard in their Jutna studio in hopes to complete the CD and to release it in the very near future. Until then, be on the lookout for more music videos and sings to hit the airwaves. So as a reminder, remember this face because we have a star in the making. I ain't giving down. I'm a fight for what I want to my